stopping limited availability. Thank you, Madam Chair, and I yield back. Lady yields back. Further discussion? Gentlemen, Mr. Wahlberg is recognized for five minutes on the amendment. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I oppose this amendment and urge other members to do so as well. I appreciate my colleague from Michigan's um, positions on that, this, but um, the underlying bill is intended to prevent the EPA through regulation, government, bureaucratic, hard-fisted regulation from deciding which types of cars people should buy or not have available to them. I'll never forget, and saying this in the positive, good, strong member uh, memory of the scion, the lion of this committee, Chairman John Dingle, who I had the privilege of sitting in a room with when he was talking with Sergio Marchionne, the late chairman of Chrysler Daimler. And they were talking about the newer, uh, the new uh, um, cafe standards that were coming out. I'll never forget the discussion. It was a good discussion. And after the chairman had given the basics for the cafe standards, I'll never forget Sergio Marchionne saying, Mr. Chairman, thank you. As long as these standards are reasonable, they may make a stretch a bit, but as long as they're reasonable and rational, we can make them but then get out of the way. Don't tell us what engine, what motor, what transmission to achieve this. Between our engineers, our designers, and our consumers, we'll come up with the best deal. I've always remembered that. And I appreciate the fact that uh, we all say we believe in innovation, free market approach, competition. Uh, this amendment, in fact, would take away from that. Uh, my bill will expand that opportunity. And with that, I encourage, I encourage opposition to this amendment. I yield back. Gentleman yields back for the discussion. Chair recognizes Ms. Scherkowski. To strike the last word. Thank you, yes, I seek to like to uh, strike the last word. So, um, despite its name, the name of this, uh, this legislation, choice in um, automobile uh, retail sales act, despite the uh, name of this resolution, this bill would limit consumer choice. It would, um, it, it would lock in place, I'm sorry, it, it, it would lock in place statute, sta the status quo for vehicle technology as they um, exist today, preventing pro-consumer, pro-innovation, and the American people um, the American, uh, the, uh, uh, excuse me, um, American innovation um, has actually reduced prices for consumers and benefits millions of Americans. And we must not block future savings for American drivers. 